that little bump, that's the left atrial appendage. The left atrium is made from two parts embryologically. A smooth part which comes from the lungs, which is the pulmonary veins, and a small trabeculated, wrinkly, bumpy part which embryologically comes from the heart. And it's this little, that little piece of tissue there. And it forms the left heart border normally. And if we go and we peel away and we scroll back, you can see that little finger-like little stump thing is the left atrial appendage. It's coming out of the left atrium. So the left atrium has veins that drain blood from the lungs into it and also a little sort of embryologic remnant stump. Let's rotate it around. It comes out of view for a second, but it's back into view. You can see this little flap come back and forth, sort of pointing anteriorly. That's the left atrial appendage. Okay, here's an abnormal radiograph. In the region of the left atrial appendage, we have a bulge. Again, that could be a, a mass, a lung cancer. But in this case, it was a massive left atrial appendage aneurysm. Fortunately, I don't have a CT scan, but here's an echo. This is a short axis echo. There's the left ventricle, which is the heart, the main contracting chamber of the heart, and there's the cavity. There's the right ventricle, and this space, this black space, is all left atrial appendage aneurysm. Normally, the left atrial appendage points forward, but it's very small. It's not so big that you can see it there when you're like in the middle of the left ventricle. Left atrial appendage aneurysm. The short axis transthoracic, transthoracic echo. Here's a transesophageal echo with the probe is in the stomach. There's the left ventricle. And then this sort of big S-shaped thing sitting on top of the left ventricle is all left atrial appendage aneurysm. Here's a surgical picture. That big balloon, that big, big pink eggplant looking thing is left atrial appendage aneurysm. And there's, when it's taken out, it's like seven centimeters. 